one state park down on to the next you ready to do this with me oh yeah it's gonna be fun let's do this Woo! Okay, so it's a good thing I've actually driven here before um, because the GPS took me to the exact same location uh, where I had a stop last time. Um, I think because I was there before and I have really good uh, directional kind of setup, uh, I should be able to get back to the camping area um, where I stayed before. So let's keep this drive going. We're almost back to Kettle Moraine. So check out here is three o'clock. Uh, the camp hosts who I just uh, spent some time chatting with, they were really nice. Uh, they went and checked. Uh, the folks are packing up. They're just running behind. Um, this is kind of unusual for me because in Florida, sometimes checkout was as early as 11, uh, but now here it's three o'clock. Hey everybody. David aka RV Jedi and I am back. Yes, I am back at Kettle Moraine uh, State Forest. Uh, this was the very first place I camped when I came to Wisconsin. When I first came here, I stayed at the Long Lake location, which is about five to 10 minutes away from here. I am at the Mothy Lake uh, location, recreation location. And if you remember, the first time stopping here at Kettle Moraine, was a little bit of a adventure, but I did promise one thing. The fridge was a little cool, but it wasn't, you know, fully getting cold. And I thought it was just a product of me uh, having to plug into electric. Well, um, after a while, it, I, it didn't come back on. Um, and it was flashing a green light. Uh, I checked my owner's manual and uh, uh, did all of the things that I could do uh, from here to figure out uh, what was going on. And uh, ultimately it said it needed to get serviced um, and it just was not getting cool. I didn't have any more ice. Um, so the food, which I had um, purchased a lot of while I was in Tallahassee, uh, and then my mom had given me some, uh, w w was starting to go bad. Um, in fact, this morning when I woke up, it, it just, it all smelled pretty bad. So uh, last night I had to make the tough decision um, that I was going to have to um, head out of the park early. I had paid for two days and I was going to stay, but um, I've got no food, you know, and the fridge is not getting cold and um, it is uh, smelling pretty bad. So um, this first state park um, in Wisconsin was a little bit of an adventure. Um, and it was an adventure to get here. Uh, it was an adventure once I got here. Um, but uh, I'm shutting her down and bringing her back home. Um, it just was my refrigerator wasn't good uh, and broken. So I have to go home. I'll be back to another state park. Maybe even come back here. I'll be back to another state park. Maybe even come back here. Maybe even come back here. So again, this is a huge place. Um, uh, Kettle Moraine State Forest, uh, over 30,000 acres. There are six uh, individual units. This is the uh, northern uh, unit. And it, uh, Mothy Lake is just an absolutely beautiful 
uh, location. Very different uh, than Long Lake, uh, as I remember. This one, a little tighter to get around, uh, but the sites are all pretty good. Um, they are compacted ground, so you can back in uh, pretty easily. Um, there's tent camping, uh, there is uh, RV camping, uh, and uh, there's a, a teepee here too, which is kind of cool to look at. 30 amps here at my site, no water. Again, you have to get your water before you come into the park uh, at the front. Um, and then at the sites, uh, just electricity where I'm at. There are also some non-electric places as well. Um, according to the information here, um, there are 135 sites, including 51 electrical sites, two sites accessible for people with disabilities. Uh, there's a shower, flush toilet building around, um, and uh, again, a Native American style uh, teepee uh, here that you can rent uh, pretty much all season long. One of the things I really like uh, about this location is that there's a lot of um, a tree cover, uh, which is really nice. It keeps everything uh, kind of quiet, and um, right now the leaves are turning, so it's really pretty to look at. And just over kind of like a little hill in front of my RV is the actual lake. So you can uh, see the lake and uh, it's uh, really pretty. You can uh, boat and fish out there. Saw a couple people out there. When you walk around and start to kind of explore, there is a little beach location and there are uh, areas for people to camp. And um, you know, if the water was warmer, folks could go in. Uh, there's a, a kid's play site, which is obviously closed down because of uh, the coronavirus pandemic right now. Uh, and you can imagine that during the summer when uh, everything is warm, this is probably a great family getaway. This is more like what I am used to in terms of Florida uh, RV camping. Um, I'm in the middle of the week. Again, one of my favorite things to do, RV in the middle of the week, and there are not a lot of people around. Uh, earlier this summer when I was RVing, um, you know, there were a lot of kids and, and some of the places were a little packed. I think a little bit of that had to do with the coronavirus. I think it's also because of the summer and that's just what families here in Wisconsin do. So this, uh, this stay here, and I'm only here for a couple of days, um, is a little bit more tranquil, a little bit more quiet and something I really enjoy to do. So I'm here, you know what I have to do. That means I have to get my hike on and I was able to get out on a chilly morning to check out the sights. So doing my hike here at Mothy Lake and uh, we're gonna do the, the loop around the lake. Uh, it is pretty cold, a little chilly out here. Not as big as Lake Michigan, but I think you get it. A great lake here. Um, looking forward to exploring it a little bit more. Hey, just a reminder, if you like the content you're seeing here on the channel, please click and subscribe, hit that bell notification. That way, whenever a new video comes out, you'll be notified right away.
you know, on the back of that bike that just drove by, uh, they were towing a little cart. In that cart, not babies, two pugs. <laughs> yeah, bike riding with dogs. So this hike is kind of interesting. Um, the trails are nice and wide. Uh, early in the hike, um, there was kind of gravel so you could ride. Uh, the particular part that I'm on right now, you can't ride your bike. Um, and this is just uh, for hiking. Um, it's a circle around the whole lake. So hopefully I'll be able to make it all the way around. Um, but for the most part, a pretty decent hike. And I love it, obviously. We can get out and hike it up. Well, looks like the camp hosts were right. Uh, I am at a point on this trail uh, where it looks like there's nothing but water flooding. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to get through. Gonna hike on back, um, see if maybe if there's another way to get around. But for the most part, this part of the hike, over, done with. Okay, one of the things you have to do when you live in an RV, and even if you're just doing it temporarily, is you have to keep things organized. Um, every now and then I get uh, ahead and I start doing things well, and then I slip. So finally, uh, I've decided to kind of go through everything and start figuring out stuff that I need to just toss uh, and some stuff that I need to donate. Um, and it's gonna be as simple as things that I just kind of keep out uh, and then some stuff that I have stored um, that probably just needs to go away. So you're gonna be with me for part of this. Let's try and get through uh, enough of this as possible. We'll store it up, we'll box it up, and then uh, when I come back home, uh, I'll donate those things, and then uh, on my way out of the park, I will dump the things that I need to dump. Okay, so here's a big example of what I'm talking about. Uh, I keep this with me because I usually keep all my remotes and things in it, but there's a lot of stuff that's just junk in there that's gotta get tossed as well. You know, after four years of RVing, there's just so much stuff that just accumulates. I have to admit, I'm not quite a hoarder, but I do think, oh, I'm probably gonna need this at some point, so I save a lot of stuff. Unfortunately, what happens is, it just starts to accumulate, builds up, and then I get to this point where it freaks me out and I really need to clean things out. So here's what I'm talking about. All of this stuff has a place and needs to be put away, but hasn't been in some time. So I have to get better at putting things away, otherwise it clogs up everything. And again, there was a lot of stuff that I tossed um, but a lot of this stuff just needs to be stored someplace, not just in here, uh, on the uh, table every day. So there you go. Everything narrowed down to three boxes, one for batteries, one for the remotes and a, a pen, uh, and then one for miscellaneous items, uh, some cable chargers, tape, uh, uh, 
some candles, uh, some old lights that I might need uh, to put in because um, I use LED lights now. So uh, everything kind of cleared off of the table. That's the first thing I will only pack the uh, batteries and uh, the, the big thing that has all of the little stuff uh, into the overhead uh, compartment. And then um, I'll use the remote container, the remote koozie, if you will, uh, on a regular basis. So one area kind of cleaned up. Uh, I'll take you through one more uh, before I uh, uh, sign off here because I don't, I'm not going to take you through everything because there's just too much stuff to get done. But the whole purpose of this, again, is to go over and talk a little bit about having too much stuff with you when you're RVing. So let's see what's up above. Again, the same basic situation uh, as the table. Uh, you know, I stored a lot of stuff above uh, the um, table there. Some stuff that is just quite frankly out of date that you're probably never going to use again. Uh, so some of that stuff is still good enough to use for somebody. So I'll take that to like Goodwill or Salvation Army. Uh, but most of this, yeah, it's just got to go. Let's go through some of these boxes and see what I need to keep and what I need to toss. Everything's cleared out up there. Uh, I've cleared off everything that I'm going to put back in. Um, and you'll see there's a, a drastic difference. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to just uh, donate um, and some stuff that I just had to toss. Um, but let's put it all back and see how it looks. So with just a little spring cleaning in the fall, uh, you can see how much storage space that I've received just by taking some stuff out, taking a look at it, and tossing a lot of it, donating some of it. I have so much more to do. I better get back at it. Moffy Lake Campground, uh, again, just about an hour and a half outside of Green Bay. A great place to come visit, a great place to see the uh, lake, see the fall changing colors of the leaves, and just a nice place to unwind. Make sure you get a chance to check it out if you can. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, you can follow me on the blog at RVJedi.com. Get out there, RV, explore places like this. And you know what? Unwind when you can because we all need it. We'll see you next time.